Hello, Deadly Abbott, back again with more Betrayal of Crondor. Yes, when we last left off, uh, we were exploring a bit to the north. Uh, we have finished the cave, and we just came across someone who was looking for uh, the contents of a treasure chest. Bring it back to him and I get a book. So we're, I believe the location was, um, let me see. Ta -ta -ta. Refresh my memory real quick. We are just coming up on... Zune, and the chest is supposed to be by Hawk's Hollow, so we shall be heading in that direction for this episode and seeing what interesting things we can find. Alright, let me get back in mode. Uh, what was I just by? Is this the cave that I finished? Uh, let's check real quick. Go! Yes, that is the mine that I finished. Okay, cool. So, Alright, cool, we're back on the road. Alright, let's get going and see what treasures and enemies we can find. I'm not seeing anything in between. Okay, cool. Continuing on. Gotta keep those aisles peeled for holes and treasures and enemies. Oh, Gorath stopped and stared off in the distance. After several seconds of contemplation, he turned and began to speak. Look at that tree over there. The lower limbs have all been hacked off. That either means we're near someone's property line, or someone was ensuring they'd had an unobstructed view of the area. If we continue in this direction, we shall proceed with great caution. Oh, ever the observant scout. Okay, so we're gonna go off the path. They were being watched, unsure about their observers. <laughs> were located. Locklear wheeled about just as a figure emerged from behind the trees. Oh, assassins! Okay, so Owen, you go on defensive. Locklear shall thrust him. Oh, you do not sneak upon him. Gorath. Yes. Okay. Owen, you defend. Locklear, thrust. Oh, don't you go after Gorath. Thrust. See, they're starting to become better. Okay, Owen, you, you go on defensive. There's only two guys. Okay, swing! Locklear misses, of course. Okay, Gora thrust. Missed, missed. Oh, you hit Owen! You son of a bitch. Okay, defend Owen. Alright, thrust Locklear. Missed. Damn it. Alright, swing Goreth. Oh, he's dead, sweet. Okay, Owen, you're still going on defense because you're pussy. Okay, and... Swing away, Locklear. Oh, he hit sweet. Alright, Gorath, go thrust him. Miss, okay, so we'll swing with Owen. Uh, we'll swing with Locklear. And we will thrust with Gorath. And he missed, okay. So, he's trying to run away. Let's kill him. Thrust, thrust. Um... No, I'll probably hit somebody if I do that, so we will move Gorath to here. Alright, Owen, thrust. Uh, let's try and get my crossbow skill up a bit. Okay, so we will shoot an arrow with Locklear at point blank range and hit him. Sweet! Okay, Locklear blinks for a long moment. He stared at his dead opponent, pulse pounding in his veins as he waited for yet another to come on. Teeth bared or blade flashing, but instinctively he knew they had won this fight. They were safe for the moment. Alright, cool, more swag. Okay, so let's see. Alright, sweet. Okay, Gorath shall repair this crap. Exit him. And the other one behind the tree. Let's see, are these rations good? Yes, they are. Okay, so we'll give them all to Locklear. And that's Gorath. He doesn't have enough room, of course. Okay. So, some people took some hits during that fight. Let's see what we can repair. Okay, repair, repair. Gotta get that skill up. Okay, armor's hammer. Armor's hammer. Ping, ping, ping. Okay, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, don't think you got. Yeah, we'll repair this all later. Okay. Harry's abilities have increased. Sweet. Yes, Gorath is becoming a beast. Alright, let's explore over here a little bit more. Any treasure chests? No. Okay. So, I believe this is the next town, or village, actually. Let's see. Eh, check on the map. What do we have? Yes, this is Zune. Okay, let's go in here. 
we can offload our crap and see what type of swag they have to offer and what people's houses have. Any abandoned houses? Okay, let's knock on the door. Tavern keeper greeted them at the door, guiding them inside. With a cluster of tables, he produced a, a sheaf chef of papers, which had been inked with the name of various goods and drinks, above of which had written the name of the tavern, the Green Cat. Quite something, eh? The tavern keeper said in obvious admir admiration. It's to become the fashion in all the taverns and inns I hear. I believe the word for it is... Or it is menu. Unfortunately, I won't have anything on it for a while. So, gents, can I get you a bit to eat? Yes, catch up front if you don't mind, he said, rubbing his fingers together. Okay, let's see. Day's ration. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see if we can haggle for some rations. Uh, didn't let me haggle. Haggle, come on. We shall continue haggling with Owen. He's the best at haggling. Ah, oh, come on. Give me a discount. I'm cheap. <laughs> haggle. Ah, oh, come on. Good price already, but still. Alright, haggle. Yeah, whatever. We'll just buy him. Okay, except it's yours. Give all seven. Let me see what... Okay, give all seven. Let's see. He's got 11. He's got 12. 14. Okay, cool. We're balanced out pretty much for now. Alright, let's continue exploring this town. Uh, what's in this house? Door swung open, bleary-eyed and smelling of alcohol. A 40-ish looking man sneered out at them. Well, what do you want? He shouted. Out with it! We were hoping you could give us directions. Directions! Directions! The man's eyes blazed as he snared a wine bottle from the floor. I'll give you directions! Before Lockley could react, he felt the impact of the wine bottle against his skull. Oh, you cranky old drunk. Okay, let's check this house. Lockley knocked on the door. For a long moment, he leaned against the door frame as he went. Oh, nobody's home. Okay. Do, do, do. Yes, I'm avoiding recycling dialogue. Luckily, knocked on the door of the small wooden house. They then waited patiently for someone to answer. After several seconds, a woman appeared and ushered them inside. I don't have time to talk unless it's really important, sirs. I have to finish preparing some mushrooms that I picked for the shopkeeper over at Keg's. He nearly ran out of healing restoratives yesterday, and you know what they say. You can not you can kill me, but you can't eat me. That's a strange expression, Gorath said. What does it mean? Tell the truth, I don't know, the woman replied, her face brightening with a wide grin. It was something that the Baron Kevin used to say. Never could make any sense out of it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must be running along. Hey, nothing there. Oh, don't tell me they don't have a shop here. I'll clear push the door open. This place is abandoned, Gora said, looking around the room. Maybe the occupants left something behind we can use. Let's have a look. Yes, looting and pillaging. Okay, we have a bowstring, and we have some money. Cool. So, let's see. Anything in this direction? Do, do, do. Huh. This looks mighty suspicious, like a clearing. No, just a shortcut. Okay. Wait. Nope. Okay. So, we will head back into the town. Do, 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 do. Really? No shop? Oh, there's the shop. Sweet. Okay, cool. There's the shop. Bell rang. Let's see, eggs, herbs. Okay, buy and sell. Dragonstone, herbal, blah. Ah, uh, don't tell me I can't sell armor here. Let's see. Damn it, I can't sell armor. Okay, so this uh, shop's pretty much useless to me right now, since I don't need to heal anybody. Let's camp real quick. Camp until healed. Okay, cool. We're at midday. We shall head back onto the road, and let's go back a little, make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, circle around. Okay, it looks like we didn't miss anything. Alright, we need to head towards Hawk's Hollow. Anything in this direction? Not that I'm seeing. Okay, da 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 And let's save, just in case, since we've beaten some enemies and are trudging along at a rather brisk pace. Okay, let's see. Go to the map. Da, 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 da. Which way is Hawk's Hollow? That way. Okay, cool. So, we shall try and find this treasure chest for the census man, or whatever he was, and go back and get that book, because that, as I recall, increases my skills, which is always a good thing. Oh, enemies. Okay. 
Sweet. All right, left click to save. They agreed to attack, going over the plan as quickly as possible. Lockley laid out a simple strategy. We're set then. Let's hope our advance is undetected and our advantage will be lost. Okay, let's go off the grid. The attack was unexpected. Eyes wide with surprise. The enemy scrambled around. Yes! Sweet, we snuck up on him. Okay, so... Owen, you defend. Lockley, get to him. Alright, cool. Lockley, go after him. Morath can't reach him yet, so we will try and shoot an arrow at him. Oh, sweet hit. Okay, Owen, defend. Oh, sorry, we're about to sneeze. Alright, come on, quick, before I sneeze. Swear. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. Okay, Gorath. Uh, you can't reach anyone yet, so we shall try with an arrow again. Please don't hit lock clear. Alright, cool. Oh, you hit Gorath, you bastard. Alright, Owen, defend. Lock clear, you shall swing again. And miss, of course. Oh. Oh, no, you don't. Gorath, okay, you shall swing. And miss. Damn it. Hey, Owen, defend. Lock clear, come on, you better stab him down. Ah, uh, come on, Gorath, thrust. Miss, okay. And Miss Owen, defend. Lock clear, thrust. Alright, cool, he's dead. Gorath, uh, we'll go with thrust. Sweet. Oh, you hit Gorath, you bastard. Okay, defend, lock clear, you need to get back here and help. So, we will move him. Uh, da, 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 there, sweet. Okay, Gorath, we'll go with thrust again since he has 54% chance. He missed Owen, defend. Ah, uh, Locklear, Locklear, Locklear. Move and help Owen, Gorath, thrust, and hit, and miss Gorath. And Locklear, swing, you have 59% chance, and he defended, damn it. Okay, thrust with Gorath again, miss, defend, uh, swing, come on. He's defending. Alright. Thrust, come on, we need to kill. Oh, he's running. Ah, he hit Owen. God damn it. Okay, lock clear. Uh, thrust. Miss. Okay, Gorath. Ah, you can't shoot your bow? Really? Ah, and you can't reach him either. Okay, so we shall take a swing at him. Ah, he's getting away. God damn it. Okay, um. No, oh, I don't want to auto fight. Yes, I just autoed the fight. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Exit. Ah, oh, don't tell me that bastard got away and he just used a spell. Why did I. Ah, I accidentally turned it on auto mode. He was alive, unsure whether it was skill or luck. They had, they had won them the fight. Locklear set aside his weapon. Though he was allowed his opponent, his dead opponent, a wide berth while he checked on Goro's welfare, he needed no further excitement for the day. Oh, abilities increased. Take a look at that in a minute, after I get my loots. Okay, are these rations good? That'd be cool. Yes, they are, sweet. Okay, share with the party. Money, armor, okay, exit. Where's the other dead body? Damn it, I let one of them get away. That was free money. Okay, so money and armor, which will be converted into money. All right, back onto the path. Actually, let's rest until healed. Uh, and we will go until morning. Okay, cool. Quick save. Alright, we're back on the road. Uh, I don't see any chests. Damn it, I want to get that third guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like killing people, what can I say? Okay, I think that's Hawk's Hollow over there. Uh, let's see. Let's investigate real quick. No, I don't see anything. No, that's a temple. Okay, cool. So, let's visit the temple real quick. Do, 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 see if we can learn anything. Incense world, striding between the columns of the temple, Locklear made for the heavy wooden doors, which had been sealed against the daylight, and which preserved the privacy of any ceremonies in progress. Pulling a tasseled rope, which hung next to the door, he awaited the response of the door warden. Temple of Killian. The meditation chamber was spartan and strangely cold, seeming all the colder for the heatless flame which burned in the holy censer. The only bow which had been made to 
bow. Yeah, the only bow that had been made to adornment in the temple appeared to be a strange pattern that had been etched on the wall. Okay, so that's how you teleport. I don't think I can go anywhere. The design was odd. I see the mandala interests you. Turning Locklear noticed a thin young man in the archway, his hands hidden in the folds of his robe. While the relations between the temples and this new alchemy of magic at Stardock have been cool, it is one of treasures they have passed on of the Surani magic. It has given us great mobility. Mobility, Locklear asked. How can a painting help you move? The acolyte smiled. It would be easier to explain by example. Tell me about a place you are familiar with, a place where you have spent a good deal of time. Locklear shrugged, describing the place he had grown up, the layout of the rooms, the various things associated with his home. Very good, the man replied. As you describe those things to me, doubtless you are experienced certain you also experienced certain memories through which you were able to really live your past. In the same way these mandalas help us locate a place. By memorizing a pattern painted on the wall of a specific temple, we may ourselves we may will ourselves there. I could think my way home with this. No, the memory of home would be too unfocused for you to make an attempt. But if you were to memorize this pattern, you could return here by recalling its image in your mind when assisting by the power of an when assisted by the power of another temple. Luckily he looked back at the mandala, lost in thought for a moment, his eyes soaking up the intricacies of it. I assume there would be some fee associated with moving between locations. Acolyte nodded. As simple as it is in concept, it requires a great deal of effort to move even a single individual, though I am told the Surani Great Ones move about with less effort. I believe Pug wished to restrict our knowledge of this in some way until we had proven we would not abuse its power. Ah, oh, Pug. Pug is an awesome character. I can't wait to get to him. A bell sounded. Abruptly, a darkly robed priest swept into the room and, come to, and came to a halt before, behind Locklear. I was alerted that you might desire to use the mandala. Desire, perhaps, but I haven't seen any of the other symbols, Locklear said. I don't suppose you could go with us. I am regret that I cannot assist. <laughs> what? I am regret that I cannot assist you. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of broken English. It should be. I am regretful that I cannot assist you, the priest said. My duties require I stay here to guide others that wish to arrive. I am sorry. Okay, so I can't use that yet. Um, Let's enter the temple. Locklear pulled the curtains aside. The rear section of the temple was as dramatic as was the meditation chamber. A large pool occupied the center of the lush of a lush courtyard and was hemmed in on all sides by an alabaster peri style with climbing vines. Cloistered immediately off by the open area were several arches, doorways either blocked by heavy woven curtains or choked with clouds of obscuring incense. Oh, oh, there we go. Someone with a motorcycle in my neighborhood. Okay, nearby a gong sounded and immediately a priest hurried out of a doorway, halting as he caught sight of the unexpected supplicants. Yes, I'm sorry, immersion ruined. Okay, talk. They were shown to a chamber. Here there were no flagstones or chip tiles underneath their feet, but instead a thick carpet of grass jeweled with dew. At the far end of the room a pair of yew trees overarched a throne of woven reed upon which was seated a striking looking woman. Her shoulder length Black hair bound behind her back with a green cord. I am the high priestess of this temple, she said, musically. Tillian welcomes you to her domain. Come, be seated. Listening with keen interest to the stories told by Locklear, the priestess remained as motionless as a statue. At last, she folded her hands in her lap and sighed heavily. That was most entertaining, she said. I particularly liked the part about the drunk, but I would advise you in the future to keep an eye, keep an eye on the food you eat. You shouldn't simply gulp down the first thing you find without taking a look at it first. Properly chast <laughs> chastised, Locklear shrugged his shoulders and promised he would be more careful in the future. Cheered, he didn't mind when the high priestess escorted them from the room. Okay, so let's go to Cure. The priest shrugged. There's nothing wrong with you that I may mend, he said at last. Your wounds will heal themselves with time or may be mended by... Cherugians. <laughs> Cheru... Cherugian. Cherugian. Okay, but I can only heal those things as a sp of a spiritual nature. There is no curse upon you, nor has Lim's Krogma marked you to come soon to her halls. You shall survive without assistance. Okay, let's get blessed. Locklear searched his pack. Which of these items would you like blessed today, a priest asked. Okay, let's bless uh, the armor. The priest accepted the items. Carefully, he laid the standard kingdom armor on a low table covered with a white cloth when he opened a book, which he retrieved from a clustered Bookshelf, flipping through the tattered pages, he found column of numbers and ran his fingers down them. I was wondered, always wondered why the price of a blessing varied from item to item, Locklear said, watching 
The priest, does it have something to do with the gods, or rather more to do with how the item was made? The priest explained. If there are any special metals used in its construction or spells used to bend the metal, then they become factors on how difficult it will be for us to make a blessing stick. Leaning closer to the page, he stabbed at the figure. Ah, here it is. For your standard kingdom armor, it will be 58 sovereigns and 7 royals. The priest said, oh, hell no. Kiss my ass. All right, so we're leaving the temple. <laughs> The priest bid them farewell, leaving the lushness of the central courtyard. They passed back through the curtains into the deserted meditation chamber. Ah, I have a quick drink of water after all that. Okay, back to the road. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no, I didn't want to go back in. I accidentally hit the wrong button. Okay, exit. Okay, let's take a look around. I believe Hawk's Hollow is supposed to be this way. Okay, let's see. What's down this path? Uh, check the map. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Uh, I think we have another little uh, <laughs> distraction. We may not make it to Hawk's Hollow in this episode. If I keep to my... Oh, is that a chest? It's a chest. It's a chest. Sweet. Okay, save. <laughs> Roughness construction. Oh, it's a word lock. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, let's see. What is this one? When it comes in from sea to shore, 20 paces you'll see, no more, no less. Um. Sun? No. When it comes in from sea to shore, 20 paces you'll see, no less, no more. Okay, this is only three letters, so it's not hard. Uh, fog. That has to be it. Fog. Is that a choice? Yes! Okay, it is fog. Sweet. Okay, let's see what do we have in here. Oh, sweet, more lockpicks and more money. Oh, Owen doesn't have room. Martha, ah, oh, I gotta find a place where I can sell this shit. Okay, cool, give all six. Sweet. Okay, let's save again. <laughs> I love riddles. I love this game. Okay, oh, and we have a successful camping area. Uh, but we really don't need to camp quite yet. Uh, anything I can dig up? Nope. Okay. Onward! Back to the road. And there was another path up here. Okay. What do we have here? Is this a graveyard? I believe it is. No, it looks like a shop. Okay. A clear guess. Severed heads. <laughs> Oh god. Severed head spun in gray space before him as in disembodied arms and legs flail together with the sound, much like the clashing of kitchen scullery. Looking closer, you realize that the body parts were not in fact body parts, but instead very tarnished pieces of armor that had been suspended from the shop's rafters. <laughs> you there, careful it may all come down on your heads. A gnomish man appeared from the rear of the shop, a match held tight between his fingers. Should have knocked, nearly didn't hear you from upstairs. I can see why you you came in, though. Your armor's in quite a state. Another blow to your suit, and you'll look a lot like those up there. I'll fix it. I'll fix you right up. If it's all the same, I'd prefer to buy a bar armor's hammer. I'm sure you would, but I'm not in the business of ruining my livelihood. I'm an armorer, and I make my living in repairs. People go fixing their own. I'm out of business, right? Okay, cool. So I can get armor repaired here, but I can't sell it, damn it. All right, let's see how good he can repair Owen's shit. Oh! Yeah. I do my own repair work. Kiss my ass. Uh, da, da, da. We'll show we'll remember that, though. Okay. Oh, it's night out. Shit. Okay, so let's camp real quick till morning. All right, continuing on. Huh. Usually fences, I think, indicate graveyards. I forget. We haven't come across a graveyard yet, but I'm sure we will in the slight to near future. Okay, continuing down the path. 
All right, what do we have here? Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, this looks like it could lead to enemies. Wait, am I heading backwards? No, I think it's just the way I'm facing the path. Okay. Let's head down this. Huh. Alright, we're gonna do some exploring real quick. Er, no, wrong button. Doo -doo. Anything of interest? Seeing anything, okay. Alright, cool. So, let's continue on. We don't need no stinking road. Alright, what do we have here? That's the shop I just came from. Crap. Okay, so... Alright, we want to head south. Back on the path. Da, 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 da. Moving on. Just check down there. Nothing really there. Uh, nothing of interest. Come on, how far is Hawk's Hollow? Man, it's getting night already. Crap. Alright, let's search down here. I uh, don't see anything. Anything amongst the trees? No. But we shall camp until morning. Okay. Da, da, da. Back on the road. Okay. Let's, oh, shit. Enemies. Crap. Ran right into that. Uh, how many do we have? Two? Oh, this is easy enough. Alright, Owen, you're gonna do something useful this time. Spare thy eyes. Uh, we'll use it on the back one. Okay, lock there, you shall go thrust. And of course, Gorth can't reach him yet. Alright, move, go. Owen, defend. Lock clear, swing. Okay, Gora, thrust. Miss. Okay, Owen, defend. Lock clear, thrust. Uh, Gora, thrust. He's dead, sweet. Ah, you just hit Gora, son of a bitch. Okay, lock clear, swing. Miss. Okay, Gora, swing. Okay, Owen, defend. Alright, thrust. Hit. Okay, Owen, you can regain stamina since you're doing nothing. Thrust. Uh, thrust. Oh, he's almost dead. Sweet. Regain stamina. Thrust. Sweet. He was alive. Okay, yes, we beat them. <laughs> Party's abilities have increased. I'm going to take a look at that real quick. So we have... Da, 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 da. His haggling's gone up. Sweet. His strength is going up, it looks like, as well. Okay, Owen, uh, you're still useless. <laughs> and Gorath, oh, his strength's going up like a beast. And weapon craft, oh god. Gorath, I love you. Okay, let's get some food. Is this good? Oh, good rations. Okay, we shall give those all to Gorath. One sovereign, eighteen royals. Okay. I need to find a shop really soon. Hey, let's check this guy. Oh, come on, I need a shop. Okay, continuing on. We need to go to Hawk's Hollow like ASAP. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Oh, please be Hawk's Hollow. Duh, duh, duh. Sweet, okay, cool. I think I might. It's supposed to be, the chest is supposed to be south of Hawk's Hollow. Okay. Alright, we're going straight to the shop. Okay. Wooden man. The woolen man. Okay. Ah, uh, please sell weapons. God damn it, don't tell me this guy doesn't do weapons. Oh, damn it. Come on, there's got to be a weapon shop. Oh, wait. Is that it? Oh, abandoned tavern. 
Uh, spoiled rations. Good rations. Okay, so... Give for all. <laughs> oh god, I'm running out of room. Shit. I need to offload my crap. Uh, Alright, time to start knocking on doors. Man, let them inside. Come in, my name's Lucan. He introduced himself as he slapped his guest on the back. Nice to meet you. I haven't had visitors in some while. You know, it kind of gets lonely up here, and the kids don't come down too often. You have kids. They're a marvel, don't you think? And Locklear sees Lucian's... <laughs> Lucan's wrist and gave him a savage twist, forcing a shiny sovereign to fall from the man's pained fingers. Everyone watched in shocked silence as the gold clattered to the floor. I almost didn't feel you nabbing that from my purse, Locklear said. You're not you're not bad, thief, but not good enough. Don't kill me, Lucan pleaded. Please, I don't have anything to give you, but I'll I'll do anything. I'll I'll teach you. Yo what? Gora sputtered. I'll teach you. Yes, that's it, Lucan said, his face brightening. Spare my life, and I'll teach you what I know about locks. Everything, what do you say? Oh, free lock picking. Locklear asked an eyebrow. Very well, Lucan, he said. You may teach us, but if we leave here with any less than we came in with... No, no, no! You have my word. Just sit here, and I'll be right back. I'll go fetch my practice locks, and I'll be right back. Nice try, but no, you're staying here, Locklear pushed Lucan to a seated position. Just tell Gorath where your practice locks are, and he'll fetch them. Then we'll start our lessons. Having resigned himself to the fact that he wasn't going to escape, Lucan lectured and demonstrated for the par better part of the day before he set his practice locks aside. That city mumbled, wiping perspiration from his brow. That's all I know. Good enough, Locklear said. I think we may be on our way now. And Lucan, for your continued health, I would suggest you get out of the thieving business. Oh, yes, we got better lock picking. All right, what's in this house? Locklear knocked on the door. <laughs> Locklear knocked on the door of the small house, and after several minutes, so an angry woman appeared at the window and began to scream at them. Keep your bloody sovereigns. I've decided I'm not leaving. Why, why should we want you to leave? I refuse, you hear me? I refuse! Now go away. Okay, so clearly someone's trying to buy out Hawk's Hollow. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I want to offload all this gear I have. Uh, let's see, did I check this house yet? I believe I have not. Door opened a fraction of an inch. Your hands, a voice commanded. Pardon? What did he say, Locklear asked? Show me your hands, the voice repeated from the darkness. Palms up, thumb out, and don't make any sudden moves. Faintly amused, Locklear complied and did his ass, extending both his hands for the stranger's examination. On command, he turned his hands over... Again, waiting for the judgment of the voice in the house. You pass, the voice in the house pronounced at last, but his voice did not sound relieved. All right, then, listen carefully and don't ask any questions. What was all that hand business about? I said no questions, the voice snapped. Suffice it to say, I know that you can be trusted with what I have to say because you don't bear the sign. You should be on the lookout for scrolls of any, for scrolls or anyone bearing scrolls. Read them carefully. They could save your life. Be safe. Scrolls, Locklear asked. Why? What's on these scrolls? Does it have anything? Abruptly, the door slammed shut. Mysterious and senile, that person was. And I'm talking like Yoda, I am. Alright, so we have one last house to examine. Damn it, I hope it's a tavern or something. Locklear pushed the door open as he passed through. He noted the lack of do a door latch. A sign the inn was likely ch chartered by the local lord to ensure the safety of travelers. Hopefully it would also mean the inn's furnishings would be suitable. Sweet so in. Alright, cool. Oh, who do we have here? Locklear tapped the woman's shoulder. Slowly she turned to look at him, but rather than greeting him with a smile, in her gaze was a look that he thought reserved only for things that crawled on the ground or lapped up table leavings in the dooryard. What do you want? I was hoping perhaps we could talk, Locklear ventured. Pass the time with a little conversation. Why? she asked. She said curtly. Opening his mouth to reply, but suddenly finding himself bereft of adequate speech, he made a small sound when he was certain sounded quite unmanly. Stabbing him with her exquisitely beautiful stare, she smiled. I thought as much. Goodbye, sir. I am sure you have a brilliant oratory career before you. Shut down. Okay, so we're in the Dusty Dwarf Inn. 
except for a thin strip of floor that led between the door, the counter, and the stairs. A gray cowl of dust coated the inn's pictures. The patrons of the inn seemed similarly stagnant as they glanced up lazily from their mugs of ale and brandy. Okay, let's talk to this guy. The man accepted their company. Owen chatted idly with a rough-looking fellow as Locklear looked on, making certain that in his ebullient mood, the magician didn't slip and give away the true purpose of their travels. So where are you headed? The man asked, describing a large arc <laughs> with his ale cup. Any place interesting? Actually, we're not headed in any specific direction, Locklear intervened. We're wandering, looking for an employer, treasure to watch, caravan to guard. The man snickered, or a caravan to steal from, eh? Freebooters, then. Well, there's not much going on in the kingdom these days, not in the west. The prince has seen to it. His roads are safe and his vassals happy. For the likes of us, he's taken all the fun out of life. Locklear nodded. You're not the first one to say so. Okay, so we can try and bar. Let's talk to the innkeeper real quick. Ah, oh, I can just stay here. <laughs> the... The Nightmaster looked tired. Seven sovereigns for the night, he grumbled. Though, if you louse my beds, I'll charge you double. We turn you out at sunrise. Oh, and there's a chamber pot in the corner if you need it. Shall I sign you in for the night? Eh, let's stay for the night. Luckily, you settled up the account. Rooms upstairs, the Nightmaster said. Have a good rest. The room was cramped. Shrugging, Owen stepped over snoring bodies and selected a spot on spot of floor which looked like it might be comfortable for the night while Gora squeezed into a bed already occupied by three disheveled-looking men. Ah, the romance of traveling, Owen said with a chuckle. See you all in the morning. <laughs> I kind of just skipped over it. Okay, a few moments, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not going to. Okay, we're not going to stay again. Uh, let's talk to the barmaid real quick. Uh, ugh, fashions are expensive. Okay, exit... Let's try and bard. Oh, we got kicked out. <laughs> but we've increased some abilities. Okay, let's see if we can find that chest before I end this episode. Alright, he said it was to the south of Hawk's Hollow. That's to the north. Uh, Alright. Just to the south of Hawk's Hollow. So, we need to explore... Do, do, do. West, north. Oh. Ah, we just ran into a battle. I know three people. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. Owen, you defend. Locklear, thrust. Yeah, go ahead, go after Locklear. Alright, thrust, Gorath. Miss, of course. Okay, Owen, defend. Locklear, swing. Hits, sweet. Okay, Gorath. We'll go for a swing. 44% chance. Oh, he hits. Gorath, you beast. Okay, defend. Locklear, you got 59% chance. Swing and miss. Oh, you hit Lock. Fuck. Okay, we'll thrust with Gorath. Hit. Sweet. Owen, oh, defend. Okay, so swing with Locklear. 59% chance. Missed. Uh, Gorath. We'll thrust. And miss. Oh, he's running. Oh, hell no. Okay, defend it, Owen. Black bear, swing. Hit! Alright. Get out your bow. Come on, Gorath, hit him. Damn it! Oh, they're both running. Hell no. Okay, Owen, you defend. Locklear, you can still stab. Ah, I can't reach. Let me see, can I hit him? Got him. Sweet. Okay, Owen, defend. Locklear, stab. Alright, cool, one down. Alright, come on. Ah, uh, he's not... Can I hit him? Damn it. Okay, defend. Ah, uh, I can't reach him either. Alright, come on. We gotta snipe this guy down. Yes! <laughs> you do not get away from me. Alright, thrust. Now we'll take out this bastard. Alright, defend Owen. Lock clear, go stab. Swing! Owen, defend. Lock clear, swing, 60% chance. Sweet. Alright, 44% chance, swing. Miss. 
Okay, defend. Uh, 70% chance of thrust. Hell yeah. All right, 54 chance. Cool. All right. Uh, and I probably don't have any room for all this stuff. Damn it. Let me see. Uh, da, 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 money. Oh, I don't have room. God damn it. First I should have checked. I think he's dead. Okay. Ah, they're good rations too. Crap, I'm going to have to come back here. You know what? I'm going to have to backtrack to a shop real quick. Oh, key. So I'm guessing we're near this chest. Damn it. Oh, a scroll? Note. Okay. Well, there's a note. Not enough room. Damn it. Not enough room. Ah. Okay, so... Uh, I really want to find this damn chest. Oh, man. Oh, already been playing for 41 minutes. Oh, is this the chest? Hopefully. Box for... Oh, it appears to be locked. Let's try and open it. Ah! Damn it. And I just didn't save. Son of a bitch. Yes, let's try opening it. Oh! We've got... Oh, man, I need this. Okay, so who's in the worst shape? And not bad. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we shall use it. Miracle oil cloth. Uh, edge of weapon or armor. We'll give that to Owen. Uh, and we'll use that. Okay, come on, I need, uh, yes, let's open it, okay, so, emeralds, uh, 15%, not bad, but, those will bring in some money, actually, uh, do I have room, I need room, ah, son of a bitch, okay, let's head back, actually, let's camp real quick, camp until healed, Okay, till the morning. Alright. Let me see if I can offload these emeralds in this shop. Or what I can offload, actually. Okay, this chest is supposed to be south of Hox Hollow. I hope that was it. Uh, let's see. Buy, sell. Aha. These emeralds should be worth something. 83 sovereigns, sweet. Uh, anything else I can sell? I don't think so, but let's put this on there, repair his crossbow. Oh, man. Repair that. Repair. <clears throat> man. Okay, you know what? I think that's going to do it for this episode. Ah, uh, armor craft increased. Um, I'm going to head back in the next episode, try and sell off this stuff, and then head back this way. Um, I'm going to go check with the guy who has the book. Hopefully, I that was the chest that I needed to discover. But we'll do a quick save, and yeah, this has been Deadly Habit with another episode of Betrayal of Crondor. Uh, tune in tomorrow for another episode.